Hello everybody, I'm a simple gamer, welcome back to some more Advanced Wars 1 Reboot Camp Challenge Campaign Mission 10. Olaf's Sea Strike. Unlike the last one with the Olaf Navy, this one is actually a sea battle. And one that gets quite annoying because of all the fog. Like more annoying than the other side because even with the fog there, you can pretty much avoid Olaf's army by going north. But here, nope, you just gotta fight him. In order to get to his HQ, I think I'm gonna use Max here. Ah, uh, nah. Oh, yeah. No, I said Max, so I'll use Max. <laughs> I am gonna miss Andy's range. Well, his, like, generic range. But, power, uh, powerful subs here should be fine. In addition to like the MD tanks and all that. Two battleships. Give me a break. Not this uh. guy again. I mean, I did use Andy last time, so yeah. Uh. Should use a uh, Max here. Whoa. Yes. Grandpa. Okay, no indirects on land, just to my two battleships, two subs, and two cruisers. I guess I can go slowly. In order to gauge where all the humans are. Well, first things first is of course my sub's gonna go somewhere. I guess not too close. I see that battleship. And then I guess I'll go up here. Should be fine. Another battleship. Actually, this could be bad since I might lose my subs. Oh wow, well, should be okay. Hopefully. My one battleship right there. Guess I'll put my cruiser here in order to protect myself. Like so. Probably leave that battleship right there. And then I'll hide my cruiser. Probably in the reef here. I can't really go close unless if I go up. I think I'd rather stay down here. Now, how do I attack? I mean, I can't put everyone in the lander, so I might as well capture this. And then probably put tank... Recon, and then tank tank. Hide my lander here, and then leave my lander... Actually, no, I should move it up. At the very least, like up here or something. I just don't know if there's like any units up there. Oh well. Should be fine turn one. Just gotta see how many of uh, all those navy units move. Naval. Okay, that's a sub. Second sub. Are they close to... Are the cruisers close enough? Ah yes, that's one cruiser. I didn't even move that sub that far up. That, it's just unfortunate that it got seen like that. As long as I take care of the cruiser, I should be fine. Yeah, this guy's kind of useless. But I should be able to one-shot the subs. Like that. Now which battleship do I finish off though? Since I do only have uh, one full HP sub now. 85. I guess I'll do that. Oh, I was hoping the 1 HP sub might be able to finish him off, but it doesn't look like it will be able to. I guess that's fine. Well, I can still try though. It is max, with his power bonus. Just gotta see how much it does. 3%, but I do have my power. Which I think I am gonna pop now. You're gonna get hurt! Oh! 
I mean, since Max has the power, Olaf definitely has the power too. Two vision. If I finish out the cooler, he won't have vision on my units here. Which I'm definitely hoping for. I mean, it's only 1%, but it might help. Nope. Goodbye, sub. Oh, it survived, somehow. If I finish him off, the battleships won't have vision, but one of the battleships could move in order to get vision. Which would be quite annoying. So I might lose this cruiser. This battleship should be fine since it is in the reef. So I guess I just go up and attack. Yeah, one of the battleships. And one shot it. Too bad I can't see if there's like another cruiser close enough to attack myself. Should be fine. Move that battleship there. Hide it in the reef. And I guess these guys. I probably want to land on this island. Down here. Should be safer than up there. Well, both sides are gonna suck. This is why I do need my subs for like vision. I guess same with my recon too. So I'll move him up here. And then move this guy up. And then I'll see what happens. Gotta injure Olaf's power with his snow. Can you withstand the cold? Blizzard. I probably don't care too much if one of my cruisers gets shot down since I do have my second one. But will I lose my other cruiser though? Goodbye one sub. Bowship? Bowship. That one HP. Ah, there is a second cruiser. And another bowship. Okay. Oh, since I can't move that far, I might just finish off this guy with my sub since. The sub barely finished out the battleship with Max's power. Well, it's definitely not gonna be able to deal damage. So... I guess I attack here. And I finish off the... Yeah, the cruiser. 33. Wow, this guy does... 40. I guess that's okay. But who do I want to attack? Probably this guy down here. I gotta remember that I do have an APC in order to refuel myself. If it, it does get low on fuel. I think I do want to finish off the cruiser. No, but then... Nothing can really damage the sub unless the cruiser attack my sub. So that doesn't really matter too much. But no, I, I should get rid of the vision at least. Like that. It'll take me more time to finish off the battleships. But the battleships should move up since I'm gonna move my guys outside of range. Guess I'll put my cruiser here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if there's like a rocket here, it's still won't reach. I'm pretty sure there's a battleship back here, which I do have to deal with. I guess I'm not moving my landers. You know, I should uh, drop probably a tank and pick up something else. If I do want to win at least a little bit, a little bit faster. Guess I'll move my cruiser back a little bit. Still in range, but... Should be okay. E even if it does get attacked, I can just use them as I already said. And that turn. Uh, 
Ow. Oh no. That sub. I was not expecting that. Cruiser came down, which means... Ah, oh, that's actually bad. Ooh. I should not have put my cruiser there. That one shot. So I can't actually deal with the sub now. Interesting. There is a sub here. Do I wait for it to sink though? Maybe. I can finish off the cruiser. No more vision there. But that sub there is gonna be annoying. I don't want to lose my last sub, since that's the only thing that can damage uh, Olaf's sub, since I did not lose my second cruiser. Unfortunate. Oh, either way, I guess this guy has to attack. Yeah, this, well, he doesn't have to attack the battleship. But I think I want to do that. Something like that. 1 HP. I guess I finish him off and then move my sub back. Yeah, that's probably how I do it. Don't want to get too close to the battleship unless I want something before that happens. So yeah, my sub goes back. And this is probably a good time to get fuel back. I can probably still win this, even after I'm using... Uh, all of my stupid cruisers should be okay though. Yeah, recon, MD tank, and tank and infantry should be enough. As I end my turn here. Just gotta see where that sub goes. Right there. Ah, okay. That's what that's what's gonna happen, I see. Five HP is should be okay. At the very least, I do get the first strike against the sub. I am gonna pop my power for that. Roll, tanks, roll. Gotta get that extra defense too for the counter. So my sub is not getting fuel. Should be okay. Also, my sub can go up for some vision here. Ah, that one shot. Nice. That's done. Oh, I still don't have vision of the battleship. I guess I gotta move up here then. There we go. At 49. I guess Olaf's gonna pop his power too. Guess I can move my lander up. Probably put that guy here and then put this lander probably down here. I guess I am gonna put the MD tank in the recon. Right over here and hopefully be able to like push up as this at the same time as my sub which does only have two shots left though. So I guess it is gonna go back next turn in order to get health. Sorry, ammo and fuel. Uh I guess I leave the rest of my units. Let the winds of war bring snow. This power does slow me down though. Since my sub is gonna take two turns to refuel now. Do I need to finish out the battleship though? Oh yeah, I do. I should be fine to move up now. Unless if there's like another sub down here, which is definitely possible. But what can I do about that? Battleship attacks there. Uh, at the very least, I can move my landers up. Should be fine. Outside vision range, this guy goes back, rises. Another turn wasted, I gotta say. Battleship moves up. 
I cannot tell where it went. At all. Hide right there. This guy hides right here. Oh, drop. At the very least, I can finish them all. Let me be a little greedy, see if I can save my other battleship to move up. I can. Okay. Put this guy right here. That doesn't cover the HQ, which is not that good though. If possible, I guess I do want to move my lander up there after. I didn't need my self revision, and that turn. The mechs and tanks not really doing anything, if only I had a third lander. That's probably asking for too much. Nothing happened. Okay, let's see what I can see here. Drop probably my M my recon in the forest. Or do I want the MD tank in the forest? Probably the MD tank in the forest. Never mind then. I can't even drop my MD tank. So there's a tank, two heavy infantry, and then an MD tank right there. It could also be like a rocket there too. Well, at the very least, I do want my probably battleship down here. One, two, three, four, five. At the very least, I cover that city. Do something like that. That's 64. My recon is gonna die though. Oh well, at the very least I do have my 4 HP sub. I guess I'm not gonna drop these two for sure. And that turn... I was expecting the enemy tank but not the second tank though. That should be the rocket. Yeah, that is a rocket. Goodbye Recon. Two rockets, I see. And they're both from the forest too. So it is gonna be a little bit before I can actually like push up properly. Well, at the very least, it looks like after I finish off the tank and the recon... Oh, well, I shouldn't have vision on my units there. If there's a rock here, one, two, three, four, five... 36 should be a kill. Okay, so now I can drop my MD tank. No problem. 72. I might lose my lander though. Which I guess I don't quite care too much about. Especially after it does job and I do have my second lander up there. Oh, I was not expecting the MD tank. But since the MD tank's there, that does mean that I can drop infantry and then tank. Nope. Of course there's a lander there. One, two, three, four, five. Should be okay to hold my battleship. Sorry, my sub to finish off the lander. I'll dive in next turn. I might lose my tank. At the very least, my lander should still be fine. This is pretty annoying. And that turn. Yeah, the two rockets might attack my MD tank. 6 HP. Second rocket, yup. Oh, these two rockets though. Kinda sucks that they're- well, one of them's covering the HQ. All I really need to do is just finish off the other rocket though. Does my lander survive? It does not, so that means... My tank's gone. Well, hopefully I can still win this. That's a lot of damage. I do have to move my lander away now. 
Infantry attacks my infantry, great. Honestly, it's probably better just to restart. Second infantry. Yeah, what I need is to keep my battleships alive and both my subs. One for vision and one to go after the battleship in the back. Power? Well, what do I do with my power? I can't kill him. Honestly, if I finish off the infantry, I can just go capture after. Especially since... The rockets and the battleship won't have vision if I finish off the infantry. So, the most important thing is to finish off the tank. Yeah. And then I move my battleship up and then move my landers back. The empty tank I can ignore if it doesn't. Move backwards. Okay. I can do that. I still have my tank. Four shots. So one, two, one, two. Should be able to finish off these two. Especially with a little bit of help from this battleship as well. I can still do this. Ah, the empty tank moved back. I see. Never mind then. I do have to finish off the MD tank unless if I just drop two units here and then like cover. Something like that. Tank and then mech. Still have my power. Oh, wait a sec. What's the battleship? Probably back here then. Interesting. I guess I attacked the infantry here. Gotta remind myself how much vision they have. Two. I don't want to finish off the infantry with a... Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess I put my battleship right here then. All I want to do is cover that city. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, no, I can do it right here. It should be fine. I would actually love to take my APC as well, but I think I'd rather have my combat units go over. And that turn. Of nature. Of course, I'll always use the power. Blizzard. Gotta make the best out of this situation. Where the hell is that battleship, though? Oh, the empty tank moved backwards. Still good for me. Ah, I guess I can go there. That's fine. Attack here for 35, so I don't have to waste my full HP battleship. And I guess I attack... 53. No, I'm not gonna do that this turn. Move this guy up here. And that turn. I know this is a battleship that's moving towards my base. That would be kind of weird. There it is. Doesn't really matter if my sub's dying. 59. That is gonna be the last- oh no, I still have one more shot left. Nah, that should be fine. Do something like that. Finish him off next turn, and if not, I do have my battleship to attack him. Five. Go something like here. Then it goes full move. I guess I pop my power next turn. 
Day 13. Maybe I'll be able to, able, sorry, maybe I'll be able to win soon. Cause I pop my power now. Actually no, I might want my power after. Yeah, that is a kill. I mean, my sub does have five, six shots. So even if I don't finish on this turn, should be okay. Attack like that. I think I actually no. I there's the rocket there. So if the enemy tank comes up, actually no. I'm finishing off this guy. What the hell am I talking about? I do that. Now, I only have one more shot for my battleship. Kinda scary here. Let's see what the AI does actually. So I drop my mech and my tank like this. Is he gonna move like his MD tank all the way up here? This is kinda why I say my uh, power. Olaf has two rockets plus the MD tank left. Not in range. I might be able to finish him off. 44. I guess this guy might as well go back for ammo. Okay, let me pop that power. The power boost might be enough to finish off the enemy tank. For my mech tank plus my battleship. That 48. My tank is definitely gonna die to the rocket and probably the MD tank after. 26. Hopefully it goes down to like 1 HP somehow. Ah, 2. Okay, my mech can't finish him. Yeah, I do not want him interrupting my cap. So I'll do that. No ammo for him. And then I guess my lander also goes back to fuel as well. Actually, to pick up the... The APC. My sub might survive. If I bring the APC soon enough. Maybe. Might as well put the infantry inside, move the mech up. And turn. See what the rockets do. That's one rocket shot. I should have taken care of all the other units, so... Just the two rockets shouldn't be able to stop me. Since they aren't in range to attack the HQ. So I went on turn 17. Kinda bad probably, but not that bad I don't think. Considering how many units I lost early on. Oh. Yeah, I guess uh, that Bausch is not getting refueled. Since, since I'm gonna put my APC inside. This guy has 7 fuel left. Battleship, I guess it's good. Ah, I don't have to move anything. I win. So leaving the rockets is actually okay. Since they actually can't see anything before. Or after the other units are taken care of. Plus, they don't actually cover the HQ. No point in moving anyone else now since I do win. Get that cap. That girl. And yes, that's sir. basically Blue Moon taken care of. Uh. Well, well. Okay, let me see that bad speed score. Well, Is this gonna be an, my, another B? Oh, I actually got an S here. That's kind of surprising.
Well, it's barely an S, but still an S. I lost my first sub early on. I lost my two cruisers, unfortunately. Well, I didn't really need them, actually. Since my sub can one-shot the other sub, but if this was Andy, that probably would have been harder. But Andy could also fix his units a little bit. Oh, well, whatever. I got, I got the S. I should be happy. Let's go wait for the next screen to come out. I actually have nothing to buy with these coins. Until Advance Wars 2, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna hit the cabin and then just sit on the coins or something. For probably, like, the longest time. Either way, that's all the Blue Moon finish. Once again, skip go comment and... Gonna be a ton of green earth missions, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.